Hello Tickies In this tutorial we will learn how to trigger power automate desktop flows from another flow or how to call a power automate desktop flow from another flow If you see on my screen we have logged in into power automate desktop there you can see i am having few of the desktop flows with the name of desktop flow linkedin facebook linkedin connections and test desktop flows i need to call these desktop flows from another desktop flow but over here if you observe i don't have the possibility over here to call the desktop flows from another flow in that case how can we go ahead and do that There are two ways to trigger the power automate desktop flows. One, we can trigger the desktop flows by using machine directly or the second one by using on premises data gateway which we have installed in the machine to secure data transfer. For that, we need to switch to flow.microsoft.com. There if you see First of all we'll see the machines which we have done it. Now we'll go for the monitor over here and after that let's click on the machines over here. If you observe over here under the machines I'm having desktop-vk44521. This is the same as the particular desktop which I'm using for the power automate desktop flows. All right? Now another one we need to see the gateways. Click on the data and there you will find gateways click on that now if you observe under the gateways i have i'm having a gateway name with the power automate desktop hyphen gateway which we have configured in our previous tutorial right now by using these two things one is machine another one gateways i will trigger power automate desktop flow from another flow that is cloud flow all right now i will show you how to trigger this by using cloud flows navigate to create tab on the power automate let's click on create and then i'm going to select any one of the option over here for the time being i'm going to use instant cloud flow which it will trigger manually as we required let's click on that and over here i'm going to say trigger desktop flow i'm just going to give the name over here and then i'm going to choose how to trigger this flow that i'm going to use it manually trigger a flow and then i'm going to click on create now over here if you see i have got the step manually trigger a flow if you expand that i need to provide if i want to give any inputs for the manually trigger flow for the time being i don't have anything now i'm going to use new step over here to add our desktop flows click on that there you can see i'm having desktop flows over here let's click on that now i need to perform the actions what kind of actions i need to trigger the desktop flows over here that is my action over here there you can see i'm having run a flow build with power automate for desktop another one run a flow build with selenium ide another one run a flow with windows recorder v1 which is the legacy one Right now our agenda is that i need to run or trigger a desktop flow with power automate desktop all right now i'm going to select this option and there you can see i'm having the parameters as desktop flow another one run mode the first one is that select an item over here there you can see i'm having all the desktop flows which we have just seen now once again if i go for the power automate desktop there you can see i'm having the flows with the name of desktop flow linkedin facebook linkedin connections another one is the test these are the five fl desktop flows which i am having all the flows are available over here but how it got to know that there you can go for the connections over here click on three dots and there if you observe i have already connected to my power automate desktop which is available in the particular machine there you can see i'm having desktop hyphen vk 44521 right now i'm going to add a new connection over here and there if you see the connection there are two things out there there using on premise data gateway or by using directly to machine i will explain you both the things because of i have installed on premise data gateway in the 
machine directly which I'm going to use it. So I will show you both the options. One is that on-premise data gateway to, to secure the data transfer between the cloud and the on-premises data. All right. First, I will go through the using on-premises data gateway. There, I need to provide the gateway name. If you observe under the data, we are having gateways. The same gateway will get it over here. If you click on the drop down over here, there you will get Power Automate Desktop Gateway. Select that. And after that, the domain and the username. How can I get the domain and the username over here? I'll go for the command prompt and then I'm going to give the command as CMD. And there I'm going to give the command as who am I? If you see, I'm going to get the domain and the username over here. I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to provide the domain and the username over here. All right. And the respective password for this machine, I'm going to provide it. I'm going to give the password over here. And then I'm going to click on create. Now, if you observe once again over here, I have connected successfully to my machine by using on-premise data gateway. All right. So that now if you observe over here, my desktop as well as I have configured on-premises on the particular desktop itself. So whenever I'm going to select on-premise, you will get it the particular desktop only. All right. Now I'm going to select an item over here. I will say LinkedIn as a desktop flow and the run mode over here. I'm going to give attended. It means whenever you are signed in, it will run it over here. All right. Let me select that. And then I'm going to save it. Now our flow is ready to trigger the desktop flow with the name of LinkedIn. All right. Now to test it, let's go ahead. Let's click on test. And then I'm going to perform the operation manually. I'm going to click on test. Now, if you observe over here, I got the desktop flows over here. Now let's click on continue. And then I'm going to run my flow. Now the flow execution started. It is trying to trigger the desktop flow, which we have given with the name of LinkedIn. Now, if you observe over here, what it is trying to do, it is trying to low open the LinkedIn groups and then it will post the data inside the, for the particular post. This is the in infinity process. Now this is happening by using our power automate desktop flow. There you can see it is still continuously running over here. And if you see, observe over here, it is, it will take a little bit time to complete the entire process. All right. Now I will show you how to run the desktop flow directly by using the machine. All right. Over here, if you go for the monitors under the machines, I'm having the machine. I'm just directly going to connect to that machine over here without on-premise data gateway. Now, if you observe over here, I'm going to use the connections over here, add a new connection. And then I'm going to use the option over here as directly to machine. Now, if you observe what are the machines we have configured, you, you will get it that machine names under this one. I'm going to select an item over here as desktop hyphen VK double four five two one. Now, if you go for the domain name, I'm going to use the same command. Who am I? And I'm going to give the same domain and the username. And then I'm going to give the password over here. All right. Let me click on create. Now the cloud flow has connected to the power of my desktop by using directly to machine there. Also my machine, whatever the desktop flows are available in the particular power at my desktop that I got all the flows over here. Now I'm going to select any one of the flow over here. And then I'm going to give the run mode over here as attended run when you are signed in. I'm going to click on save. Now the cloud flow has saved successfully. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Let's click on test. And I'm going to select manually. And then I'm going to click on save and test. And then I'm going to run the flow. Now, if you observe, it is trying to post the data inside the groups by using desktop flows. And also it will take a little bit time over here so that I'm going to close this, this entire process. I hope you understand how to trigger a desktop flow from another cloud flow by using on-premise data gateway, as well as by using directly to machine 
as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.